Next will be charged at your network's standard message rate. BBC Somerset. Let me run through some of your messages that have been coming in in their droves about whether we should eat meat. Controversial. Some of the comments coming in, very strong views. Keep them coming in. Felicity says, I'm a vegetarian. I haven't eaten meat or fish for 51 years. But I'm a farmer and I take my own meat to the slaughterhouse. I don't disagree with eating meat. I've just never liked the texture of meat in my mouth. My husband and son are big meat eaters. Oh, and on the point of unusual things, she's mixing up milk to feed two orphan goats. Oh, orphan... I love goats. Orphan goats, bless them. Um, Andy on the Mendips is a farmer and says it's all very well everyone being vegetarian in theory, but then we'd struggle to grow enough food. Now, we've got Henry in Taunton. You're uh, a vegan. Yep. Vegan Revolution is your yeah. your Twitter account. Yeah. Okay, tell us um, where, where you sort of base all of this on. What is it on ethical grounds? Is it purely on cho- on choice? You don't like meat? What What's the reason? Yeah, I, that's a weird question because it's like asking like a blind person if they like colours really because I've, obviously I've never tried meat and I probably think like, you know, there's all the faux meats out there so I think I probably would enjoy the taste of it so it is purely an ethical thing for me. Okay, and t- um, tell us about those ethical grounds then. Well, it just seems like there's a certain kind of frustration with it when you start to see the world in a slightly different way where you see a lot of people calling themselves animal lovers but they're also eating animals. There feels like there's like a level of cognitive dissonance where people are saying one thing but then doing another and for some reason sort of still being able to justify with themselves and the fact that I've been able to live my life healthy without partaking in that and now having nothing that comes from an exploited animal means that you know anyone could do it because that's how this sort of human body functions. You think people are hypocrites? Uh, there's kind of two levels to it. There's ignorance, like a young age where you kind of go, oh, it's fine, eat it. And like, you're still, you know, you might be watching like Peppa Pig or whatever on TV while sort of eating, you know, sort of like a ham sandwich. And at that age, you're a child and you don't make the connection. And then as people get older, they sort of start to justify it because they've done that. So it's not so much the fact that they, I, I suppose they are hypocrites, but I think it's the fact that something's happened to them that means that they've decided to make a disconnect to justify it. But what... This is going to sound like a really flippant question. I don't, I don't, I don't mean it to sound flippant, but why does it, why does it matter? Why, why is it so? Why does it have to be so passionate um, in in favour or against eating meat? I don't. It, it's difficult for some people to understand, really, isn't it? For me, it's kind of like there's been a lot of kinds of abuse throughout history that have been okayed by the majority in the past. So, for instance, we've had slavery, and the majority of people for that to exist at that time would have been okayed. And the current biggest one for me is animal abuse. And it's the fact that, like, you can call it animal welfare and you can call it humane slaughter, but you can't really kill an animal humanely if it doesn't want to die. Okay, so you feel, essentially, that animals just shouldn't be killed at all for any human use? I think... Can you go that far? Yeah, I mean, I I remember there was a talk a little while ago on the show as well uh, about vivisection. That's something where I really feel that's... uh, When you look into it, it's not so much to do with, like, a medical thing. It's more the fact that there's a lot of money in it, and it just comes down to the fact that when people go through a system where they're kind of, like, taught to do that and it becomes their job, they have to justify it to themselves. I have a friend who um, broke into an animal lab once. It was a place where they tested on beagles, and... uh, this is like the example of how weird it gets like on one of the desks of the places where they were testing on them there was a picture of a woman who was working there with her dogs Mm. and it's just that thing of like how can you do that as a job and then be able to go home and do the other so i suppose it is a question of hypocrisy at the end of it yeah Uh, why shouldn't okay bearing in mind that other animals eat other animals why shouldn't humans be allowed to eat other animals it's not a question of allowed i think like nature is what's happening at the moment so you can't go against it if it's what's natural but the fact that we have an ethical choice is also natural and it's not so much like you shouldn't be doing that it's more the fact that like once you understand it differently you wouldn't want to anyway you'll need to explain that a bit more okay personally i feel like if you have to live with a hypocrisy it actually does damage to yourself because you're constantly lying to yourself it's a bit like being in a relationship where you don't love someone and you keep saying i love you just to kind of reiterate that lie and it kind of damages you a little bit because you stay in that sort of relationship and i think there's a relationship with eating meat where you're constantly going oh, i love my pets and i love animals and i get upset at dolphin slaughter and i don't like the badger color or whatever but at the end of the day you're still causing animal abuse but you're having to lie to yourself to justify it I think that does the individual harm. What things. damage does that do if you're still looking after your your cat or you're still looking? I mean, I'm, you know, I mean, I, I have a cat. Well, my mum has a cat. Yeah. And he's he's got a a great life, and yet I still eat meat. But it doesn't mean that his life is being damaged. I'd uh, ask you the question, like in countries where they eat dogs, how do you feel about that? Well, this is a good point, isn't it? Because actually, we feel in this country, if we look at somewhere like South Korea, where they do eat 
dog and in some countries yeah. they eat a cat as well we have a view on that and say well that's completely wrong isn't it because you look at other cultures and you see them doing things differently yeah. this is what makes it such a complex debate isn't it which is why it's been so interesting this morning yeah i think it's definitely a cultural issue and what happens is people form opinions when they're young by the culture that they grow up in so dolphins are beautiful animals and shouldn't be hurt and uh, it's okay to kill chickens and pigs and cows mm. you know and i think that's the thing where I suppose what I'm saying is you become a little bit more free thinking in the terms of like you step outside of your culture and instead you're asking it from your own perspective rather than the one that you've been taught. I appreciate you coming on the show, Henry. Have a good day. Yeah, cool. Thank you very much. Thank you so much indeed. Henry from uh, Taunton there, very passionate vegan. Um, Brenda in Newport says, what annoys me? And I, I like ending with this because this, this is a very sort of human thing and this is something I, can, I, can, I think a lot of people can empathise with. Brenda from Newport, what annoys me is uh, if a vegetarian or a vegan comes to eat at my house, I cook them a vegetarian meal. But if I go and eat at their house, they don't cook meat for me, which I think is unfair. Having said that, I have one daughter who's vegan and one who's vegetarian. Brenda, thank you very much. Well, we know.